right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. We're happy you're here. I'm Kara Sutherland. And I'm Nicole Nalepa. Scott is off this week, so I'm having extra fun with my Great Day sis. Yes. Right? The lunch yes, ladies. The lunch ladies are here for the, <laughs> we, today we're the coffee ladies. You can grab yeah. some tea or coffee. You know, such tragic news. I saw this, uh, all the news alerts yesterday, and as more information came out, just so sad that British pop star Liam Payne, known, of course, for the massive, successful group One Direction, found dead outside of a hotel in Argentina, 31 years old, falling from his hotel room balcony on the third floor. Oh, this is so horrible. Police say that they rushed to the hotel. Um, they were responding to an emergency call about a, quote, aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Well, Payne had been vocal about his struggles with alcoholism. An autopsy is still being conducted, so more information, no doubt, will be coming out. But um, such a sad, sad story, and it's just so young, too. So young, and they were such a successful group, so just so sad at 31 years old. Just yeah. really sad. Also, a scary moment for Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, she was caught on camera. Of course, she's a singer during a recent concert in Ooh. Australia. Yeah, she took an unexpected fall right oh through a hole gosh. in the stage. <gasps> She's lucky she's okay to get it back up like that. Oh my goodness, yeah. She pulls herself back onto stage, reassuring fans she was okay, and then just continued her performance. I'm, ooh. Oh, I right? They're gonna that have to fix that. I'm, tough. Like, that, 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 I'm sure she must have known at one point that that was there, but that looks a little dangerous. Oh my gosh. I'm wow. glad she's okay. Yeah. Uh, listen to this. There's a restaurant in Minnesota that's going viral for its drink policy. Okay. So in a Facebook post, Bayside Saloon and Grill said that they had a customer who was upset with their drink rule, two drinks max for adults with children. Wow. Quote, had an unhappy customer tonight because we enforced this rule on him. I'm not going to budge. That's what the restaurant wrote in the post, along with a photo of a sign hanging in the restaurant that read, please note, Bayside has a two drink max for adults with children. Commenters are overwhelmingly supportive of this policy, and they wrote, thank you for standing up for the kids. They deserve better than drunk, irresponsible parents. Another said, I think more places should have a policy like this. Good for you for sticking with it. You know, we just did a whole Karis Cures podcast on the health effects of alcohol, but the bottom line is, I mean, three drinks on anyone, mm -hmm. you're not going to, I mean, you're not going to be able to drive home. Right, so, right. I mean, you're sitting there with your kids and... They take everything in, that's all I'll say. Yeah. And they are sponges. They're sponges and just the safety of, of going home. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. I guess theoretically, um, theoretically, maybe you've got someone else at the table who's a sober driver, I'm not sure. But, yeah, let's uh, hope there's a safe it, driver it, in those. Interesting policy. I wonder if more yeah, restaurants will do it. It is. Uh, and of course, you know, election day is what? three weeks away mm. and this is kind of cool dating apps are basically helping users with matching potential partners based on their political beliefs so do you think about that I'm a little conflicted because I just think we need to get back to where we can tolerate people with different beliefs mm. and you know so much of our social media if you click on one thing it just gives you more of that more stuff you want to hear but tinder is introducing profile stickers to share whether or not you're gonna be voting in the election I think that could be important are you a voter are you someone who cares I like that what issues are important to you uh, most popular stickers include hot people vote and voting for reproductive rights. <laughs> Meanwhile, OkCupid okay added a dozen new matching questions uh, on voter behavior, like are you voting, what's the most important issue, and is it a deal breaker if your date is voting for a different candidate than you? See, I think that that's an interesting question because especially during the pandemic, I actually knew of some couples that ended up, even before that, splitting up because of just the differences yeah. politically, which is unfortunate. And you hope, like you said, that people can coexist. Because you know. I mean, throughout time, we've had so many times where you know it would be common to have, uh, growing up, your mom and your dad, one's one, one's the other, mm -hmm. or something. But it's, it, I think now we're so divisive, and there's such yeah. opposite spectrums. I, I guess you should know that. I just feel bad that like you're, I don't know. Yeah. That's your, and, and we can't get along with someone who might think differently. And isn't that part of the growing pains of learning to get along and learning to deal with each other's differences? So maybe that's good for the relationship. Mm -hmm. Makes you stronger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Saturday UConn football battle. Speaking of strength, Wake Forest, let's go. Uh, Channel 3 has your tickets. It's going to be an important game. Yeah, and Tim Armstrong's going to be at the game. He just won a family four-pack. He's in Stafford Springs, so have fun, Tim. And you can enter to win right now on Facebook. We're going to be announcing our final winner tomorrow at 3, right here on Great Day Connecticut.
And if you ever had hopes to get to come on down, <laughs> Channel 3 is holding a casting call for The Price is Right. You could be the next contestant you, on The Price is Right. You could. <laughs> so next Tuesday, October 22nd of Mohegan Sun, that's when the casting call is being held from 2 to 6 p.m. And we're actually going to be live there on Great Day at 9 a with plenty of fun. So mark your calendars, call your bosses, and maybe you can bid a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yes.